G'day everyone, we're out at the furnace. Uh, we are I mean, freezing. It's good. It's freezing freezing at the furnace, uh, as odd as that is. Uh, we've got uh, Trevor Burnett, coach of the Youth League One Men Werribee Devils. Thanks for Unbeaten. Undefeated at Werribee the time Devils. of doing this. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, mate. Yeah. You, got, you guys are rolling along nicely. Uh, What's the secret so far? What's uh, what's coach? Yeah, it's all about apart, coach. From, apart from obviously coach. the uh, the extremely good coaching, we have yeah, great players. Um, you know, it's all about players. This is a player-driven sport. If you don't have players, you just don't win ball games. Uh, we have great guards: Michael Luxford, obviously, Mickey, really good. Will Sunilali is really good, uh, and we have some good big kids too. We have um, big Dan Biak. Uh, we have Jesse Harberger, who's kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah, to, to really yes. help. Um, He's kind of been on, as a junior, he was on a lot of third and fourth teams, and he, I think he's just a late winner. So. Yeah, Dan Riak, I gather, is Sudanese. Yeah. Because he's a, a fantastic Sudanese Huge. Um, yep. uh, group playing right throughout the Big V. It's fantastic. They, these kids are, are wonderful players. I've got to ask the question though, is, is, and I don't know if you know uh, too much about um, um, Sudan, but is Deng like Smith over there? It because must be. It's it got to be. be. There's that many Dengs running around. Uh, Jones. And, well, it's probably a John or a, yeah. something like that. Uh, we're, we're seeing uh, just a, a wonderful sprinkling of, of talent come through from the Sudanese community. They're exciting to watch, aren't they? Yes, they are. Um, Deng, I think, is like something like that. Um, I think Deng and Kawani are probably the two biggest yeah. from what I've seen. Um, kind of help a few kids around the city named Kawani also. So, um, you know, he come over and he's been with these guys, uh, the championship men, for a mm. while and since they've all kind of grown up together. And Deng's played a lot with Mickey, so mm. really. And this group that we have has been together also since they were juniors, so that's another. We've actually been talking recently about um, uh, clubs and programs developing from within, looking at sustainable futures for their programs. Werribee's on that path right now, aren't they? Both in the men and the women, about the kids coming through and sustainable future. Yeah, since, uh, since I've joined, that's kind of uh, what I've learned is that's what they wanted to do. Uh, we're really starting to, to see that, and it's been with the championship men's side. Uh, They've all kind of come up together. They have a few kids who are, who are new they've added. Um, our kids, they've almost all been together. I don't think we have anybody on our team who hasn't, who hasn't been together. Um, there's a couple older kids. You know, we have, we have, good, we have good leaders too, and Anthony Luxford and um, Corey Wright. So we're, we're blessed with a couple of older kids who are 21, and after that we're 17 and 18. Yeah. And, you know, we have a 14-year-old and a 15-year-old, so. Um, I know that you've probably had chat about this internally or had thoughts about this internally, but uh, obviously with your good start, and it is early on, you're undefeated, but indications are that you guys might be the standout in youth league one man. Yardstick. In the yardstick. Um, if you, uh, look, hypothetically, if you were to play Vicky Championship men this season, how do you think you would be going? I am. Uh, he, he's got the hard-hitting questions. It's good. It's so hard-hitting. It's just me personally. It's controversial. <laughs> yeah. I think we would be fine. We asked to be up. We did ask um, yep. if they would move us up. Um, I'm I'm right alongside of Paul Jones. I I want to play the best. Uh, when you have, I keep going back to him. When you have talented guards, you can you can make a lot of noise. Um, and. When you have a Mickey and an Anthony and a Will and he's trying to name everybody on our team, I mean, we got we got good role kids coming off our bench. Um, they can just you can you can really make some people's lives miserable. We would be little because we're maybe the littlest team yep. even in this competition, but we play really fast and we really try to. Fit. Can the Devs win? Can the Devs win Youth League One Men this season, young man? Yes or no? Uh, I think yes. I think they certainly can. Uh, who do you think uh, is your main competition and you guys are trying to get that chip? So far, the leagues just seem so even. Um, everybody on any given night seems like they could come out and beat anybody from what I've seen. I've, I've seen every single team except for Hume. Uh, the old Broncos and, and they you see Altona beating yeah. um, them, then 
one night Whittlesey will get up and then Keylor is up and you know I think I think you just you can't take any game too lightly and that's something we talk about a lot. We just we want to perform, we want to perform at our best and it's a it's an uphill climb for us each each game we want to be performing at our best come uh, I call it playoffs. Yeah, you can call it playoffs. Playoffs yeah. sounds cool. Anyway. Yeah, playoffs. Um, yeah. So you know that's that's we're we're, we're just on a, an uphill slope of trying to get better each and every time. Just take the floor. I think we're on the bandwagon. I'm on. I think we're with them. Yeah, we're with them. Best of luck for the season. Thank you. Uh, if you haven't seen the young devs playing, get down to the furnace and uh, have a look at them because they certainly get up and down the floor uh, with great haste. They've started the season brilliantly. And we look forward to seeing them right throughout the season in Youth League. One man, all the best. Thank you. Good Good on you. Thanks, guys.